Okay, so here we are again in the same test application that we were using last time. Um, one small difference this time around, I have enabled the use of Fast Memory Manager and also in my project options enabled the full debug mode conditional define, which is going to just make it easier to demonstrate the problems I mentioned at the end of my last post, um, which I shall show you now. And that problem is that we have a multicast event over here and a form which adds a handler to that event. But when the form is destroyed, it doesn't remove its handler. So the very next time that the event fires, we get this access violation because the event is trying to invoke a handler and the, the object that implements that handler has been destroyed, it's no longer there. So how do we get around that problem? Right. Well, the uh, the very next post in the series will go into the details of what are, of the implementation behind what I'm about to show you. So for now, I'll just show you how we how we use the results of that. So we'll need to use the multicast event in this second form now. Uh, sorry, the multicast unit rather, because that unit now defines an interface called Ion Destroy. This is a very simple interface. It simply says that. Um, a, an on destroy event is implemented, a multicast on destroy event. And so we need to just put a little bit of boilerplate in to, to get that working. And we'll have that as a property as well. This is not strictly speaking necessary, I don't think, but it looks pretty. And we do, of course, need to provide the implementation for that getter function. If I destroy. And <clears throat> this is a multicast event, so we need to create our event. Uh, T multicast notify create. And the sender will, of course, be the form. And we will need to destroy our event when we're done with it. And of course the whole purpose of this event is to notify uh, other objects of our destruction. So we'll need to fire that event for that to take place. And that's it. So now we can create our form, our form will listen to those events and respond accordingly. And when the form is destroyed, the event will have noticed that one of its listeners has been destroyed and removed that listener from its handlers, thereby avoiding the problem with very little work. Uh, in the next post, I shall be going into the details of how that ion destroy interface um, mechanism works in, in the multicast event framework. And, and in the final post following that, I shall look at how um, we can save ourselves even more time with some labor-saving devices that I've put in uh, around the framework implementation itself.